Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys this awesome technique that I've been doing lately that I can't get enough of. So I'm starting with this cup. This was spray painted. Um, moss green is the lighter green and deep forest is a darker green. I did get drips. Pretend they're not there. It doesn't look good, but I got drips. So what I'm gonna do is take some alcohol and just spray it in a little cup. Then I'm going to add mica powder. Now this is my secret trick. I don't know where I thought of it. I just thought about it. I don't know if people do this. I haven't seen it done before, but I thought about just kind of mixing alcohol with mica powder and making a paint and painting it on and it just looks so pretty. So I'm just mixing it in and you just want to get the right texture. It does get messy. I keep, <laughs> I kept getting it everywhere. Um, you want to get the right texture. You don't want it too thin and runny and you don't want it like chunky. So you just need to work with it and just kind of mix and stir till you're happy with the result. This is the DIY epoxy gold mica powder. And once I was happy with it, just took it on a little brush, make sure to get off the excess. And then I wanted this cool like little, I don't know what you will call this design. I don't know, just kind of messily put it in between the colors that kind of dripped there. Again, like I said, just pretend the drips aren't there because I thought maybe it would hide the drips, uh, obviously not but you get the point. It looks so pretty. It looks really metallic and just this beautiful shine. Uh, there's not very many like paints that give you the same look. There are some like a uh, gilding paint that would probably do the same, but those, they smell really strong and they're more expensive than mica. So I just thought this was a cool way to do that. Then I also wanted to add like some speckles. So I took just a bigger kind of more fluffy brush. This was the best one I had. There's better ones out there for doing this technique, but, or even like an old toothbrush, just kind of get it some on there and just flick it. And so I just kind of angled and I started slow cause I didn't want to add too much. I didn't know what I was doing. So you can see it's just kind of flicking on there. This would be so pretty to do like a, night sky with like stars in the sky. I don't know, I just think it looks so pretty. So I just did that until I was happy with it. Then I wanted some more like chunky splats on there. So I kind of just took it and went for it and just kind of flicked it at it. Uh, again, I started slow and then kind of just worked my way up. And I just wanted some more like splats, like bigger splats like that. So just kept going till I was happy. So then this cup is done and I went and sealed it with a clear spray paint. And then I just wanted to show you guys how much of a mess this makes. If I do this, with especially the splat stuff, I will do it outside because it basically is just a dry mica powder. And if you try to wipe it up, it just kind of goes everywhere. All right, so another technique that I tried with the mica powder paint situation is, so let me get, this is a silver mica. And I'm just gonna use my little cup, get some alcohol in here. Get some of the mica. Stir it up, fling it everywhere. Seriously, it just gets everywhere. Okay. So then it gets everywhere, but I think it's so worth it because it looks really cool. So I just take my paper towel, dip it in there, 
And then we're going to just kind of randomly dab and do cool things. And this looks really cool on black, especially. Like when I did it on black, it looks amazing. And a lot of you guys were like, ooh, what is that? So it's, the, it's just this. So basically you could just dab it on there. You could use paper towel. You could use a sponge uh, thing. Like you could use whatever you want, any kind of way of putting it on there. Um, I just thought this would look kind of cool because it just kind of makes cool little like streaky and blotchy patterns. So just kind of like that. And you can just do however you want. It just looks really cool because it looks more metallic and shimmery but it's not glitter so i think it's really cool for a guy's cup i'll show you the one i did um when it's finished it looks so cool i was it is a very important cup and i was very impressed with myself that i chose to do this because i wanted to do something kind of decorative but not obviously not glitter and i was just i was not sure what to do and i tried this and i think it looks amazing just make sure you seal this really well with clear spray paint. I use the Rust-Oleum 2X Matte Clear Spray Paint. Um, it's been working amazing for me. Uh, just use whatever you use to seal like glitters and stuff. But if you just go on top of this with epoxy, it's just gonna smear everywhere and rub right in because it is mica powder and it's gonna dry. But I think using the alcohol with micas is the secret because then it dries so quickly if you were to try this with water, it would just kind of run everywhere and the water wouldn't dry fast enough. So in using alcohol, you're able to just kind of get it where you want it and it just dries pretty quick. You just make it look really cool with a paintbrush or whatever kind of tool you want. But I am obsessed. I'm like thinking of different ways to do it. And I think this is gonna be the best with any uh, metallic mica, like rose gold, copper, golds, silvers, any of those colors. I don't know so much about just normal colors, but I think it could look cool on a darker cup, kind of how like um, alcohol inks do. But I think for the most part, I think the metallics just are gonna give you the best turnout. I think they just look so pretty. And I'm just like, I, I don't even know. I'm just obsessed. Uh, it's just, it's messy. So don't say I didn't warn you. It is very messy. But the possibilities with this technique, I'm just really excited. So here's another one I did with a rose gold mica powder. I think it looks so beautiful, especially these colors. This is Rust-Oleum Aubergine on the bottom and the top was just how the cup came, a rose gold. Then here's another one, again, aubergine on the bottom and uh, silver lilac on the top. So I did the gold mica powder with uh, some Athena glitter in there. Then here's the finished green one. I just think it looks amazing. Like I can't get enough of the metallic shine that it gives and just the cool, more artistic look that you can get with it. Then this cup I think turned out really beautiful. This was colonial red midnight blue and black, all Rust-Oleum paints. And then I did the flick of the gold mica powder on the bottom and I just love how it turned out. That's it, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, bye.